As the demand for air travel increases and the skies become more congested, navigating our airspace has never been more critical to the safety of passengers and allowing airports to run smoothly and efficiently. Flight Calibration Service's latest innovations make sure that navigational aids get aircraft to their destinations with minimum disruption. Carolyn Sim took to the skies to find out more. When the weather's bad, aircraft rely on technology to make a safe landing. At every airport around the world, landing and navigation systems must be checked to meet international standards. Testing and calibrating those systems is the business of Flight Calibration Services Limited. They've designed a compact, highly accurate advanced flight inspection system which fits into the back of a light aircraft and they're using it successfully at over 170 airports in 25 countries. Our system, because we use a differential GPS system, which is a unit on the ground, transmits corrections to the aircraft and we are 20 millimetres um, accuracy anywhere in space when we're carrying out flight inspection of ILS. You can see the size of the system we have, again using the latest technology, we've been able to bring it down to minuscule, small amount you know, equipment. Two pilots and a flight inspector carry out calibration flights, usually at night, at busy airports like Heathrow, Gatwick and Stansted. In the air, the system quickly captures data. If it shows that the signals are within set tolerances, an interim certificate can be issued. A full report follows after detailed analysis back at base. Years ago, this work would have been carried out using full-sized passenger planes with four huge equipment racks on board. Today, they use Diamond DA-62s. These Diamond DA-62s are fuel efficient, cost effective and environmentally friendly. They burn 60% less fuel than the Piper Chieftain and their noise footprint is incredibly low. The technology is improving too. An independent inertial navigation system has been developed to supplement GPS positioning and there are new system capabilities for MLS, GBAS, MLAT and WAM. Before any calibration flight, an operational briefing is held. These pilots and flight inspectors are discussing logistics for testing at Gatwick Airport. Things to bear in mind this evening with airspace, uh, we have range runs out at 25 miles, which are low level. And it's here in the operations room that the company's expertise is coordinated. A 24-hour worldwide calibration programme across Europe, the Middle East, Asia and Africa needs to be carefully managed. We're versatile, uh, we're geared up for it and we have the right aircraft and the right people trained to, uh, to provide everything that the customer needs. And because of the scale of operation and the development of the equipment that we use, uh, we've been able to provide it and it's been very successful. The company has recently moved its UK headquarters to Shoreham Airport. Here it can keep its growing fleet of seven flight inspection aircraft in one hangar. Maintenance work can be carried out in-house. It means more flexibility and efficiency for a company which has now been awarded the Queen's Award for Enterprise in recognition of its significant growth in exports over the last three years. Our strategy has been to use focused investment and technical innovation to provide a quality service at a cost-effective price to our customers. As a consequence of that, we have been able to reduce the cost of operations in for UK airports by around 40 percent and overseas airports by as much as 60 percent. And as technology advances, so too will FCSL. With their knowledge, expertise and adaptability, airports around the world will continue to deliver safe landings.